Hello children, today I will be completing chapter 3, Input and Output Devices. In the first video, I had taught you about input devices. In the second video, I talked about output devices. In today's video, I will talk about storage devices. So, lesson 3, Input and Output Devices, Part do you know your name, your parents' names, your friend's name, the timing of your favorite TV show? The answer is yes. Of course you know. Of course you know all these things. And you know many more things also. Now, where do you keep all this and many other information? Do you keep it inside your stomach? No. Do you keep it inside your mouth? No. Do you keep it inside your heart? No. Then where do you keep all this information? You keep it here. You keep it inside your brain. In a computer, you will find paint, word pad, tux paint and many more programs. Where does the computer keep all these programs? Does it keep it inside the mouse? No. Does it keep it inside the keyboard? No. Maybe it keeps them inside the monitor, but the answer is still no. So where does the computer keep or store all these programs? You will find them inside the hard disk. It stores them in CD or DVD or in pen drive and these are all connected to the CPU cabinet. Now the hard disk we normally don't get to see because the hard disk is fixed inside the CPU box. The CD or DVD is inserted into something called a CD drive and the pen drive is also inserted in something called a USB slot. Later on in this video, I will show you how you can insert a CD or how you can insert a pen drive. Hard disk, CD, DVD or pen drive are all examples of storage devices. The devices in a computer that are used to store data and information are called storage devices. So once again, a very quick revision. What are those three storage devices in the middle? On your left hand side you have the hard disk and in the middle you have the CD or DVD and on the right hand side you have the pen drive. Hard disk. The hard disk is like a rectangular box. As you can see from the picture it certainly looks like a rectangular box. It looks a lot like those metal tiffin boxes that some of you may be having. It is fixed inside the CPU box. So normally when you go to the computer room you can't see the hard disk because the hard disk is inside the CPU box. So if you want to see a hard disk we will have to take a screwdriver and open up the CPU box and inside you will be able to see the hard disk. It can store a huge amount of data. A huge amount of data can be stored in the hard disk. Uh, how huge is it? So, you know that we can store movies and other things in the computer. So, in a hard disk you can easily store 100 movies. Isn't that a lot? The next storage device is the CD or DVD. A CD or DVD is round in shape. Ah, that's quite clear. You can see very clearly it is round in shape. They can store large amounts of data. Yes. The CD can also store a large amount of data, the DVD can also store, but not as much as a hard disk. They are also used for listening to music and watching movies. So at school your teachers may be using some CDs. Now these CDs contain some study material. At home also you may be having some CDs or DVDs containing music or containing movies. A DVD stores more data than a CD. So a CD and DVD they look very much alike 
So from a distance, if I show you a CD and I show you a DVD, there is really no way you can make out which is CD, which is DVD. Okay? But as it says there, a DVD stores more data than a CD. How much is more? Now in a CD, you cannot store one complete movie. You can store maybe only half a movie. And in a DVD, you can store about three or four movies. Now, sorry for the delay. Now I will show you how you can use a CD or a DVD. In my hand I have one CD. This CD contains some songs. Now to listen to these songs, I will have to first insert my CD in the CD drive. Now let's see how I can do that. First I have to see where is my CD drive? This is my laptop. Now, here in this side is the CD drive. This long bar is the CD drive. And here there is one button which I will press. Green button close and the CD drive opens. And now Take my CD and I'll put it in. Then I have to push it in. And now my CD is now ready to play. Sometimes the CD plays by itself. Sometimes you have to go to something like this PC. learn how to take the CD out of the CD drive. Now, this is the icon, DVD read write. I will press the right button of my mouse and in this the menu is there, eject. See what happens, I am going to click on eject, one, two, three. And the And now we have the pen drive. A pen drive is used to copy programs from one computer to another. As the pen drive is small in size, it can be very easily carried anywhere. I think all of you have seen a pen drive. So you know that how small it is and how easy it is to carry it anywhere. It is also known as flash drive. In fact, that is the correct name of the pen drive flash drive. The proper name is flash drive. It is also called pen drive but nowadays everybody calls this pen drive so people have forgotten the original name but you should know the real name is flash drive. Now I will show you how you can use a pen drive. In my hand I have a pen drive now I will show you how to use this pen drive. Now pen drives are inserted in something called USB slots. In my laptop, these two slots, these are called USB slots. So I will take my pen drive and I will just push it in and it is fixed. And now on my screen, the USB window opens. There are some files and folders in it. Now, you learn that pen drive is used to copy things from your computer. Now, here on my laptop, I have this video called Printer 1. Now, I am going to copy this to my pen drive. How do I do it? There are many ways of doing it and you will study about them later on in some other class. But let me show you a very simple way of copying. Just take your mouse pointer or whatever you want to copy, press the left button and drag. And the way you draw a circle in paint, that way you drag and drag it here. When it is really 
of my pen drive, I may simply catch it and pull it out, but that is not the proper way. The proper way is, I have to go to this, uh, and go here and click, and then click on this, see that the symbol of a pen drive, I click here, and then I will click on eject mass storage. Now this message comes, save to remove hardware. Now I can fill out my pen So those are the assignments. Page 29, exercise A, number 1, fill in the blanks. Page 29, exercise C, match the following. Exercise B, we have already done. Page 30, exercise D, 1,5. Let's tick the correct answer. And on page 32, you have two activities. One is a uh, crossword puzzle and the other one is uh, somewhat like a game. So, please do all these activities in your textbook. Now, that is the end of this video and also the end of chapter 3. Next week, I will be back with another video in which I'll start a new chapter. Till then, stay safe and stay indoors.